This video describes a free online calculator to go with your football trading. That's the location where it lives. As you trade across your football markets, you can use this calculator to show your overall position across all your markets, including commission deductions. Uh, you may be able to improve your trading strategy, perhaps by eliminating duplicate bets, and uh, that should reduce commission. I use this to work out football strategies on YouTube videos. Uh, you may want to either track your own trades or maybe those in a webinar. The, the calculator inputs are just a profit and loss shown in your Betfair screens in your football markets. So just get that P&L information and put it in the calculator and you can see your current position overall throughout your trade. There are no odds or stake inputs involved in this calculator, just profit and loss. Right here in the calculator, the markets involved in this calculator are listed along the top. There's match odds there, under and over one and a half there, over and under, under and over two and a half goals there, and so on along the top. And there's correct score just there, down the bottom. Now the inputs are in these these cells along here, these grey cells, and down there, just below correct score, down that column there. So, so you would input your profit and loss in each of these cells for your market, and as you do that, you'll see it all light up down here, and this green column here works out your overall position against each score. So we'll, we'll put some profit and loss in uh, and see see what happens. Uh, match odds, uh, what you put in match odds there appears down this column here below where it says draw there. Then the under and overs appear directly below these, these inputs up here. Okay so we'll put a, a £10 profit in there and we'll see what happens. Now that, that profit is put against the home scores because it's uh, listed under home so a, a score of 1-0 you would win £10 less commission and 2-0 you would win £10 less commission. Now if you've got a, a profit in there you'll, you'll have a loss in the others maybe. Maybe it costs you £2 to put that on. You put your £2 minus 2 against the others. You'll get these figures from your Betfair screen and uh, those are inserted down there for match odds and uh, the um, profit loss column is updated. Now if you bet on something else, maybe you've got some some profit elsewhere, maybe you're betting under and overs or something, so maybe you've got uh, maybe a bet a fiver or something in there and maybe, uh, maybe that's a bet that's cost you another two pounds or mi minus two in there again or something and that's listed under 1.5 goals there look. So that's, uh, you've, got a, a, you've got a profit there, a 5, commission is taken off and those are added together look and uh, so you 4.75 minus 2 gives you 2.75 in your overall position for nil nil and so on down, down each of those. Now you can see there that if you did that you would have two bets on the score of 1-0 so you've got a duplicate bet there. You you might look to eliminate that somehow if you were looking at your trade in this way, so that you've only got one bet on one deal. Okay, so that's what the sheet does. Any any profit and loss that you copy off a screen in Betfair, uh, just put it in here. And you might have a, a minus up there of uh, five or something, and. You might have some winnings of 20 or something there. So you put them in like that, and everything that you put in at the top here is sorted out down there and added across into the green column here. Now, if you do anything in correct score, you might see that you've got a loss there. So you might you might bet one one and and uh, you might win a tenner in there. That's going to cost you elsewhere. Cost because you would be, have a losing stake, so it might be minus three against everything else. 
so he might have to, have to go down and put minus three in everywhere. Like that, a bit, a bit laborious, but it's not as quick as Excel. And, and so on down there. Now you can see that all these all these here along, along this row here are all added together and you can see your overall position for nil nil there and your overall position for one all there after commission if there is any. Okay so this green column here combines all your markets so you can see your overall position at any point in your trade. So you might have an initial setup and then uh, bet other markets and uh, You'll be able to keep track of exactly where you stand instead of trying to keep everything in your head, including commission deductions. Okay. To demonstrate the calculator, we'll do a trade that you should be very familiar with. We'll lay the draw in this game here. We'll put a £20 lay on that. And you can see there that uh, we've got minus 51 against the draw and plus 20 against both of the teams. This is only a demonstration so I'll just cancel that. So it's minus 51 and plus 20. Put those in there, 20 against the two teams and minus 51 against the draw. Now if we want to place an insurance bet against the game finish, finishing nil nil we would put our bet details in there. So we'll go and do that in bet there. So if you're looking correct score, the odds for nil nil are 14. So odds are 14, target 51, we need to bet a bet stake of 413. So put that on there. 413. And we'd have, if we did this in bet there, we would have uh, plus 53.69 and minus 4. 13. So put those in the calculator. That's 53.69 minus 4.13 minus 4.13 and so on down the sheet. And now that I fill those in, you can see that we can see our position now. If, it, if the game ends nil nil, we lose a penny. Sorry, we win a penny, and any other score we come out with £14.87 so you can see that uh, an insurance bet is quite costly so then you go, you may go ahead then and complete your trade if the odds of the draw go out after a goal and you may finish up with uh, maybe if you're quite lucky you may finish up with £10 green across all three home away and draw so we'll put those in now. Update the calculator. So it's 10, 10, and 10. And now you can see it. Once you've traded out like that, uh, the nil-nil score has gone. So you would be hitting one of these other scores down here, and you would see that you finish up with five pounds thirty-seven at the end of your trade if you were able to make ten pounds out of your twenty-pound lay. Okay. You may be able to use this calculator to work out what is happening in an online video. Now, when watching videos of a football trade, you may have some difficulty working out the setup of the trade to see what the strategy is, if there is a strategy. I put this calculator together to get around those problems. So, use this calculator to show your initial setup of a, of a trade, and the profit and loss can then be monitored throughout the trade. So, so you can see exactly what happens, what scores are in profit or loss after commission across all the markets. OK, let's have a quick demo. In this demonstration trade, I'm going to place a lay on over three and a half goals of 16.29. And you can see that gives me 16.29 profit if it's under three and a half and minus 37.47 if it's over. So put those two pieces of information into the calculator. And now in correct score I'm going to lay nil nil at fourteen and a half for three pounds seventy one. Now there we've got minus fifty 
the ninth bench are or plus 371 against all the other scores. Now here in the calculator you can see my lay of nil nil there and 371 against all the other scores and my lay of under three and a half there 3747 and the profit of 1629. If you were watching a YouTube video and you saw this going on you could possibly work out what was what this strategy is by looking at the profit and loss down here. Now we, we can see that we've, we've got a, lo a loss against nil nil we've got a profit against one nil sorry nil one nil two nil three one one goal two goals three goals but, but not against four goals so anything that's got four goals or more luck is red so, and, uh, so you can see by placing those two lays I've actually bet on any score with one goal, two goal or three goals. Anything that's nil nil or got four goals has a loss against it. So by placing those two lays I bet exactly one, two or three goals. Now you can see work possibly work out the odds. After commission you would win nineteen pounds or you would lose 34.61 if it was nil nil or for all the other scores above three goals minus 33.95 so if you divide 19 into into that into about 34 pounds uh, you bet, you're betting odds on of course ok so that's how we could work out a strategy uh, roughly just from a, a couple of markets there so someone doing this trade might I go ahead with that and uh, if it looked like it was, there were going to be four goals in the match uh, just bet another score or two above there incorrect score ok that's another way of using this calculator to try and work out what's going on in someone else's strategy on YouTube if they don't explain what they're doing ok thanks very much for listening and good luck with your football strategies